this is the first of what I hope will be many uh, YouTube videos for this channel and like uh, so many others that have uh, embraced the prepper uh, mindset or mentality I have as well and this may be a little odd for many but uh, uh, I am a pastor and uh, uh, I have embraced the prepper mentality and in doing so before I done it I had to make sure that it would work correctly with uh, a biblical worldview and uh, it has and it does and that's what I want to introduce to all of you that uh, may be interested in knowing how it fits with the biblical worldview you may be interested uh, whether it's appropriate for a Christian to involve themselves in the prepper mindset or in the prepper attitude uh, well, let me assure you, if you've been involved with the prepping mentality or the prepping uh, uh, social group any length of time, you're familiar with the three Bs. That would be beans, mandates, and bullets. Well, I'm going to add a fourth one to that today. I'm going to add the Bible. So just as you do uh, need to have a good supply of your beans for your, or your food, your band-aids or your first aid and medical, your bullets or your defenses, you also need your Bible. And I want to read with you this introductory uh, video, if you will. I want to read to you some scripture. I'm going to be reading from Proverbs chapter 6. I'm going to begin reading with verse number 6. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Having which no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. What I just read to you was one of many pieces of scripture that will um, not only adapt to, but will provide proof of a biblical worldview for the prepping mentality. Look at the ant. The ants we go about every day, they're a pest or uh, uh, irritants to us, but at the same time if we watch them, they're constantly working. They're not working uh, hard per se, but they are working consistent. They're working steady. They're moving small bits of food and supplies daily, storing them, putting them up for the winter, putting them up for the difficulties that may lie ahead. That's exactly what the Proverbs were telling us to do. Uh, no one has to tell the ant to do this. No one has to direct the ant. No one has to order the ant. The ant just knows to do it. That's the prepper mentality, is to gather food, to gather our supplies, to gather what we need for difficult days that lay ahead. And let's make no mistake, difficult days do lay ahead. We need only look at the six o'clock news to tell us that. I'm not going to tell you how to prepare on these videos. There are many, many more that are better qualified to do that than me. However, what I will do in these videos is offer you some encouragement because when difficult times come, whether it is due to a WROL situation uh, arising from the economy, from uh, political turmoil, or from natural disasters, or from whatever, loneliness will set in. And loneliness can be your biggest enemy in a lot of situations. Um, another thing that I'm going to challenge each viewer, to look at your faith. Where do you stand? Do you believe in God? If you do believe in God, do you have a relationship with Him through Jesus Christ? Yes, I will be. I will be promoting that. I will be pushing that forward. I will be explaining to you why it is necessary, why it is needed. So the prepper mentality does have a biblical mindset. It does have a biblical worldview. It is uh, correct and proper for the Christian to be pursuing it. There's Bible that I will be teaching from to encourage it. Uh, I do want to offer each one of you the opportunity to uh, give comments 
email me with questions. Um, I'm not one like many to give away my location. Um, I do have uh, a bit of a hideaway here. I'm not as rural as many are, not as rural as I would like to be. But at the same time, uh, I do have myself in a better situation than a lot in this area. So um, as we move ahead, let's look at how God can play into and wants to play into the prepper mindset. Why it is biblical for you and I to be prepared. Because if you believe in Christianity, if you believe in Jesus Christ, and you believe that he is coming again. And if he comes again, he will come to rapture his church. What takes place between now and then, we will have to endure as a church. Are you ready to do that? That's what I challenge you to look at. Are you spiritually ready? Are you physically ready? Are you prepared in every way you possibly can? Until next time, take care and God bless.